Hey y'all, welcome to uh, day 28 of my vlog where I share my thoughts, ideas, and my journey in life with you guys. <clears throat> Hope you guys are all having a great and positive day. Uh, today is one hell of a, today is hella hot today in California, but, whew. Um, <laughs> but for today's topic, what I want to share with you guys today, um, something I was, uh, something I was listening to when, when I was, uh, when, <clears throat> as I was jog jogging today, uh, when I was working out today, um, doing my little run at the trail today, um, is talking about the, the story that we tell ourselves every single day, and the power, how the story, how the the stories that we tell ourselves, the narratives that we, the conversations that we have about ourselves, how powerful that is to form who we are, to transform us, to become the reality that we live in every single day. So. Um, I truly believe that in order to change our life, that in order to attract the happiness, the love, the success that you desire and deserve in your life, is that we have to change the stories that we tell ourselves every single day because all of us, we all have a story that we tell ourselves, tell ourselves every single day. And what stops a lot of people, what limits a lot of people from growth, what limits a lot of people from taking that first step uh, from believing into themselves that, that they can achieve uh, what they desire in their heart, soul, and their spirit is that we all have a story that we tell ourselves every single day why we can or can't do something in our life. And we have this inner conversation with ourselves. And, and like I said, we all have these beliefs uh, that we believe. And you guys can relate to this. Whenever we do something, you know, we always have a conversation with ourselves before we actually do something. And we always have this story, right? And a lot of everybody's different. And one thing I notice about a lot of people, especially a lot of people that are always unhappy, a lot of people that always uh, find it hard to attract love into their life, a lot of people that find it really hard to succeed, especially when they fail, is they keep telling themselves this negative story of why they can't be successful, why they can't attract love into their life, of why they can't be happy. And if you're ever going to change your life, if you're ever going to grow, if you're ever going to reach your full potential that God created you to, to achieve in your life, that you have to divorce the negative stories that you keep telling yourself or the bullshit stories that you keep telling yourself of why you can't live the life or why you can't do the things that you desire to do in your life. And everybody, and of course, everybody has those stories, right? Uh, some of you guys might have a negative story that, you know, we've been you know the stories that we, that, we, that we have for our beliefs that we tell ourselves all comes from the roots, all comes from how, how we grew up, the environment that we grew up in. And the reason why a lot of people are unhappy, the reason why a lot of people uh, find it hard to open up to attract love, why a lot of people find it hard to be successful, because... Their whole life, they've been told this narrative. They've been told this story of why they can't achieve something in their life. And, they actually, and it, it actually became a belief, a belief system in their life for them to realize, to become the narrative of what they believe can be true for their life. A lot of people out there have been told their whole life they're ugly. A lot of people out there have been told, told their whole life they can't be successful. A lot of people have been told their whole life they're stupid. A lot of people have been told their whole life that if you don't go to college, you if you don't get a degree, you will never uh, make something out of your life. A lot of people, a lot of people, have been told their whole life that they're average, that they're mediocre, right? Like I've like even for myself, I've been told my whole life that I'm you know, uh, you know, a far from the islands can't can't achieve anything in America. I've been told my whole life, you know, oh, you know, if you can't speak English well, especially when I first got here in the United States. Oh, they, you know, you can't be successful. You know, if you and I went to, when I went to college and I, you know, and I end up dropping out. A lot of people told me, you know, uh, if you don't, if you if you never graduate college, uh, I will never be successful. All right, I'm a I'm a Tongan, right? Tongan, you know, what what can Tongans do, right? And a lot of people and I, so I can relate to people when they share with me that they have all these negative stories that they always, um, that they always tell themselves and that eventually leads to them to developing anxiety and self-doubt. And what you need to do is you have to start reconditioning yourself and start divorcing, eliminating these negative stories that you keep telling yourself every single day 
and start and start adopting new belief systems. You know, I would never be the person I am today if I would have listened to all the negative people in my life growing up that would have told me all the negative things of what I can or cannot do. What a, what a tongue and person can do in America, what a tongue and person can do in America. What, you know, my dream of motivational speaking, my dream of uh, starting a podcast, my dream of spreading love and positivity, right? All these dreams I have for myself that I know for a fact that I can achieve, but I have to put in the work and the time. And I have to form the right relationships with the right people, with the right mentors, right? And have to put in the work and, you know, release content and, and do the things I need to do to be successful. But I wouldn't have got to that point in my life if I, if I didn't change the conversation that I had with myself and I didn't change the stories of the things that I used to believe that I, can't, I couldn't do or I, I can't achieve in my life. I had to change the narrative. I had to change the story. So instead of telling myself I can't do it, I had to recondition myself and start telling myself, start feeding myself that I can do it. That I can be a successful target. That I can be, uh, I can achieve my dreams and goals and aspirations. That I can go outside my comfort, go outside my comfort zone. I can, I can actually do the things that I've always desired my heart to do, and start pursuing the things I've always had the desire to do. But in order for me to do that, I had to start changing the stories of of what I told myself was, of what I told myself of what's possible and not possible in my life. So. Uh, that, that's what I want to share with you guys today. You know, if you want to change your life, if you want to attract more happiness, if you really want to attract more real love into your life, if you want to really be successful to accomplish your goals and dreams and aspirations, you need to start changing the stories of what you tell yourself of what you cannot do or can do. Right? You need to start changing that dialogue. You need to start changing that conversation. Right? You need to start adopting new beliefs. You need, to, you need to divorce every negative story, any, any negative opinion or negative belief that somebody told you that you can't do something in your life. Remember, the, <clears throat> remember the, whenever somebody tells you that you can't do something, it's not your, it's not, it's not your, it's not, whenever somebody tells you that you can't do something, do something. It's not a reflection of your limitations. It's actually a reflection of their own limitation within themselves. Because just because they couldn't do something for themselves doesn't mean that you can't do something for yourself for your life. You will never know if you can do something unless you try it yourself. You can't listen to anybody else but yourself. So you have to start believing in your own story. You have to start believing in your own narrative for your life. And that's something, when I, and when I started changing the, the narrative, when I started changing the conversation, the story, or what I believe that I can achieve from my life, that's when my whole life started to change. That's when I started to do the things that made me happy. That's when I started to attract the love that I, uh, that I deserved in my life. That's when I started to have the confidence to start working on my goals and dreams and aspirations. Because I decided to divorce all the negative beliefs all the negative things of people that used to tell me growing up of what I can't do or cannot do. What a Tongan man can't do or cannot do. What an immigrant can't do or cannot do. What a person that doesn't have a degree from college, what he can't do or cannot do. I just stopped listening to the, to the negative uh, opinion and stories of people that used to tell me that be actually be, that, you know, they be, that became uh, my beliefs and my stories. They used to bring me down every single time I tried to do something for myself for my life to go outside my comfort zone. So I had to start adopting new, adopting new beliefs. I had to start believing in myself. I had to start feeding myself. I had to change their inner conversation and, uh, that, uh, that I had with myself every single day and tell, tell myself, you know, you can do it. You can be successful. You are handsome. You are beautiful. You know, you are worth, you are, you're worth it, right? You deserve it, right? And then once I started changing the narrative, the conversation, the story that I kept telling myself every single day for my life, that's when my vision started to clear up. That's when I started to see of what's possible in my life. That's when I started to see the bridge of possibilities of what I, of the, I can explore into and attract all these new opportunities and meet all these wonderful people that I never met before in my life. That's when I started 
seeing things, seeing the good things, and, the, and seeing the blessings that God has bestowed for me. All because I changed, I started to change the narrative and the story that I kept telling myself every single day of why I couldn't do something for my life. And that's the key. That if you really want to attract real happiness, if you really want to attract real love into your life, if you really want to attract real success of life fulfillment and fulfill the purpose and plan that God has in store for you, you have to start changing that story, that narrative that you tell yourself every single day why you can't do something. Why you're not worthy of, uh, of something. Why you don't deserve something. You need to change that. You need to divorce that. Eliminate that from your life. Because that negative story that you, kept, you keep telling yourself every single day, that's always going to bring you down. That's always going to give yourself doubt and anxiety. That's always going to uh, make you depressed whenever you make mistakes and, and, uh, and fall down in, in life when life hits hard. Because the story of what you tell yourself to be true that, that, that conversation that you have with yourself, right? That's, that's what's going to determine your reality or what you believe to be true in your life. You know, one of my favorite quotes is, you know, whether you, whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you're always right. If you tell yourself that you can't do something, if you tell yourself I'm ugly, if you tell yourself I'm weak, if you tell yourself I'm not worth it, if you tell yourself I don't deserve it, and that's what you, that, that's the story, the, the narrative you tell yourself every single day, then that becomes a reality. And that's, what, that's, what's, that's what's going to dictate uh, your decisions or what you decide to do for your life. That's going to determine your habits, and your, hab- your habits will determine your results, and the results reinforces, um, reinforces the things that you achieve in your life. It, it creates the world, the reality you live in today, Right? And the only, like I said, the only difference between people who are successful and people who, who are not successful is the belief system, is the stories they tell themselves of what can be true for their life. So that's what I really wanted to share with you guys today. Start, ch- start having that conversation with yourself and start changing that story, right? You need to look within yourself, right? You need to do a self re- uh, self-reflection and look deep into your soul. Right? Don't listen to your brain because your brain will always tell you all the reasons why you can't do something. Right? You need to listen to your heart. You listen to your soul, your human spirit. Your human spirit is, 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 can, can achieve anything if you're willing to tap into the human spirit. The human spirit doesn't care about the economy. The human spirit doesn't care about how much money you have or the obstacles or circumstances. You know, the odds are uh, that against you, that the human spirit is limitless. limitless. When, you, well, like, when you tap into that human spirit, that belief, you know, in Tonga, you know, we go, Mate ma Tonga, hey Da I was a little key, but I go, Fu Haka more, go tongue and Haka no more right now. But when you tap into that, you know, for me, it's just like, I have this, like, Mate ma Tonga pride. Like, I'm just proud to be Tongan. Like, I'm proud. Like, for me, I'm just, I'm just proud of myself that I can achieve anything. That a Tongan, that a Tongan from the islands, like, dripping. Like, I feel like I'm carrying, I'm carrying the, the burden of all my ancestors that have come before me. Of all my warriors, my warrior ancestors that come before me. That when I tap into my human spirit, I tap into the human spirit, I feel like, you know, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Mulan. <laughs> the day I love, you know. One of my favorite, I'm, I'm a big Disney fan, but you know, Mulan has this like scene where, um, you know, she taps into like, you know, she's able to talk to all the, the ghosts of her, of her, of her, uh, of her ancestors, right? And then she's able to tap into that. And then the ancestors can come, especially, to, especially the times so where she's struggling and, 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 and that gives her and taps into her spirit to like, to strengthen her, to give her a momentum, to give her courage. And that's what I feel like. When I tap into my human spirit, I feel the, the, the pride of my ancestors. I feel the pride of uh, the, the spirit of God and the angels that, is, that God always, is always around me every single day to protect me. I feel I tap into that. And when I tap into that human spirit, like, I, like, I, it just, like, I, I feel like I'm unstoppable. That I just, there's nothing that's going to, that, that, that I can't achieve. There's nothing that I can't overcome that's in front of me. Doesn't matter, no matter what obstacle, no matter what challenge, no matter what problem, because God is always bigger than my problems. Right? But like I said, that always starts with a story. Like you have to change the narrative, change the story of what you believe to be true for your life. 
And if you change that story and eliminate all the negative beliefs and negative things that people have been told you, and just say, and like I said, just focus on the, on every, just yes. Like there's no more telling yourself no, right? Then that's when things that that's when you're able. That's when you're able to build that self confidence, that, that build build that confidence that you know that uh, build that confidence, that belief, and uh, and the and the courage to be able to take that first step forward. Because that's all it takes, honestly. When you take when once you take that first step, once, because like I said, everything is all about just levels, all about progression. Like even though for me, like you know, even though when I first started towards working towards my goals and dreams, I know like I said, I know the odds again are against me. I know a lot of people. You know, I'm 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 going into an industry that I'm going to a territory that most Tongans have. I don't think any Tongans are doing. By the way, there's only one motivational Tongan motivational speaker I know in the world, professional, right? Um, as far as podcasting, as far as the what I'm doing right now, with my podcast about sh- talking about the culture. I don't. I, 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 I'm going into an unknown territory that my people have never done before. And like I said, for me, when I was really afraid to take that first step because of the negative stories I used to tell myself. But once I took that first step, and once I actually did it, and realized that wow, like it's not that bad, <laughs> right? Because we have these stories, right, that we tell ourselves, oh wow, oh like the worst scenario with the outcome, right? If I do this, and if I go outside my comfort zone, if I start working towards my goals and dreams, I'm gonna lose all my friends and my family. You know, naked opinion of people, you know, all the people criticizing you. So once I, you know, of course I still had dealt some difficulties and negative opinion and criticism, but I took that first step, and then I realized that I survived it. I no wait, it's not that bad. I mean, I did it. I still, I, I still faced some little obstacles here and there and some adversity, but you know, I didn't die. You know, I didn't. Like, life didn't just like. Turn upside down and and then you know, and I had the worst case scenario. No, I, I was like, wow, I, I actually took the first step and you know I actually did something that uh, I thought I never could do, and that gave me like I said that started to power my empower my human spirit. That I was like, wow, it is this is um it's possible if I can take the first step that means I can take the second step, then I can take the second step that means I can take the third step. If I can take the third step, that means I can take the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, and you know, fast forward today, I'm, I'm probably in my ten thousand step, and I probably got ten more thousand steps to go. But all because I was, uh, I was, all because I had the courage to take that first step. And I encourage you guys, like, if you really want to change your life, I'm telling you, if you want to change your life to attract happiness, attract love. And success into your life, you have to be willing to take that first step. And if you, and in order to take that first step, that first step, I'm sorry, you have to change that narrative, change the story that you keep telling yourself of why you can't do it. Change that bullshit excuses that you keep telling yourself of why you can't do it. Change the negative opinion, the people, the that everybody in your whole life has been telling you of why you can't do it. You need to divorce and eliminate all of those negative beliefs. Negative thoughts and those negative stories that you grew up in in your environment, and start telling yourself that you can do it, that you are worth it, that you do deserve it, and tap into that human spirit, because that human spirit that God has blessed you with it's 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 in that, it's 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 limitless of what you can do when you tap into that human spirit, right? When you tap into your soul, your deeper soul, your deep soul, your heart. Right, because your mind is limited of, of what it can do, but that human spirit, that soul, when you tap into that, that you know, when you tap into you know, that your your your, your inner, your inner inner fire, that inner spirit, like that's that's when life is just, that's when you take it to the next level, and that's when you're able to take that first step. So, uh, but that's what I want to share with you guys today. I love you guys. Like I said, if you guys. Uh, if I added some value to, if I added value to your life today, some, but the content, please, please, please share my, please drop a comment below. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and drop a comment below. I would definitely love to hear your thoughts and ideas of what I talked about today. If you have anything you want me to talk about, want to share for the next video, please let me know. Um, and like I said, you know, if you, uh, if you, if I really added some value to your life, please share with your friends, share with the people you love. 
you know, to spread this love and positivity, you know, and help those in need. Uh, but I really appreciate everybody that's watching. And like I say in every video, let's walk by faith and not by sight. Let's spread the love and positivity. Say so blessed. All power through. Peace.